So, uh, in, in this uh, lecture, uh, we will uh, talk about an, a CMOS uh, scaling. Uh, scaling uh, means the uh, we are going to re re what what happens when the feature size of uh, CMOS is uh, minimum feature size of CMOS devices is reduced. That is how we move, have we moved from say uh, 240 micron to 180 to 90 to 45 to 7. Uh, how that is done? So that is known as uh, technology scaling or CMOS uh, scaling. Right. So, uh, if you uh, do scaling, these are the uh, some of the advantages. The delays gets uh, reduced, you know, because now smaller devices will have uh, lesser capacitances. So, you can uh, increase the frequency. Okay, the transistor density increases. Obviously, smaller de devices means you can pack more and more number of uh, devices into a uh, single area. Uh, saving pip, uh, 50 uh, percent of the power if you keep the frequency uh, same uh, like the uh, dynamic power if you see the dynamic power is proportional to the capacitance right so you can uh, save the switching power so that is what it says so <coughs> in in scaling what is done is the device dimension is uh, laterally and vertically uh, reduced you know, by a factor alpha okay uh, concentration densities are also reduced by alpha uh, device voltage is also reduced uh, by a factor uh, uh, alpha right so this is how it is done so everything is scaled down the voltage uh, density has to be increased and the uh, voltage requires to be reduced essentially uh, when we reduce the uh, device dimensions the electric field is voltage divided by length right so wherever it is so uh, we need to uh, alpha is just a factor like from one generation to a gen uh, when we scale down uh, we generally uh, do 30 uh, percent uh, so uh, alpha is 0 0.3 close to 0 0.3 okay that is uh, per generation uh, we uh, change uh, that is how it has been progressing okay uh, so uh, 30 percent reduction in course so so uh, you will find uh, no, no, 1 by alpha uh, alpha is around 0 0.7 okay uh, so the if the original uh, dimension was uh, 240 uh, so you multiply it by 0.7 so uh, you come into 180 nanometer technology uh, and then in 2.7 in the next generation it came to 135 so 135 in 2.7 uh, like it, uh, it came to uh, no, uh, 120 and then in 2.7 90, uh, uh, 90, 90 45 it went on like that okay so that is means alpha and now here uh, no, so why is that we need to uh, reduce the voltage uh, is because to keep the uh, electric field constant so if, if you just uh, uh, decrease the device dimensions and and keep the voltage same uh, that is also done that is known as constant and voltage scaling okay uh, but uh, 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 but most in most cases it is done uh, constant uh, electric field uh, on a scaling that means the electric field is kept constant the voltage is also reduced by an factor of alpha so the electric field remains same so there will be no junction breakdown and the principle of operation generally remains uh, same and uh, so we will see that uh, now how it is done so this voltage is reduced by alpha okay uh, divided by alpha uh, gate length is again uh, divided by uh, alpha so 1 by alpha is 0.7 that means vdd into 0.7 v2 length is length into 0.7 width also uh, we reduce it uh, you know, into 0.7 uh, gate oxide is also reduced here uh, junction depth requires to be reduced okay now uh, uh, junction depth how how is that the junction different uh, junction uh, depths can be reduced that is by increasing the uh, doping okay so if you, uh, you have an increased uh, doping so that is why you have uh, multi so if you if you increase the doping you will uh, see that the junction depth is automatically reduced so you have the substrate doping being increased by an uh, factor here alpha okay so this is known as constant uh, field okay so uh, now if you see what happens to the uh, by by scaling what happens to the various uh, parameters so the device area now uh, device is uh, area is given by w into l so you have another you know, the final device area is only 0.49 times the area of the original device right because you have scaled by uh, alpha which is uh, 30 percent so alpha is 1.43 1 by alpha is 0 0.1 so the uh, device is 1 by alpha square so you have uh, achieved that gain out here okay a lesser area is required out here uh, transistor density is again w into l so you have an uh, alpha square so you have uh, almost twice the number of components can be fitted into the same area while we are moving from one generation to 
the uh, other generation okay so uh, what is the reducing parameter uh, response to high surge voltage and uh, current for lesser area if the substrate is uh, more won't that make it an uh, high uh, VTL right yeah obviously uh, the, so that needs to be that that is why uh, initially it was polysilicon uh, and then um, since the substrate doping uh, was to be increased so we had to uh, uh, do away with the polysilicon uh, now so we have to to bring down the VTs uh, we have started with uh, uh, with using uh, uh, aluminium and other metals and also we do some uh, channel engineering uh, channel engineering is uh, like uh, uh, before the gate is formed into the channel uh, uh, area uh, we do a little bit of uh, doping required doping uh, so that uh, no, we get the desired uh, VT so that is known as channel engineering and gate engineering is by appropriately selecting the material of the gate to adjust the VT so the, this <coughs> so that has been uh, done out here okay uh, so uh, transistor density uh, so that is uh, 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 more and more uh, are being compacted so that is being seen like you uh, know uh, like uh, these days you have a uh, small uh, pen drives uh, which can have few terabytes of information stored right so that is all because of the uh, scaling when you have uh, gate capacitance so uh, capa capacitance is uh, defined by uh, area divided by t ox right so if you see here uh, this is getting scaled down this is also getting uh, scaled down and this is also getting scaled down uh, so now you have uh, two in the numerator one in the uh, denominator so the overall effect is just one by alpha okay uh, drain current if you see here uh, w by l now the drain current is uh, uh, is proportional to vdd okay now assuming vth is also going down but you have an uh, v uh, uh, no, uh, uh, in in the id equation you have wl uh, and you have uh, c ox also right so so you have t ox here and you have an uh, voltage square here so uh, so if you see these are the terms which come in the uh, uh, current equation so if you see here the current is reducing by uh, 0 0.7 okay and uh, now what about the gate delay no uh, delay is generally uh, C into V divided by I. Okay, so now uh, C is getting uh, uh, reducing, um, V is reducing, and uh, I is also reducing. But on the numerator, you have two things which are uh, which are reducing. So that is why uh, the frequency is increasing by one by 0.7. So 1.53. So you can increase the frequency, right? So this is important. Like you have uh, three things: current is reducing, but the voltage and the capacitance are also reducing, and and that is the uh, reason uh, I have this uh, you know, total uh, frequency uh, uh, being in, in uh, able to achieve higher uh, frequency right so uh, these are some of the things like a uh, power now if you see uh, this is the dynamic power uh, half cv square f this we saw in the first class right so if you see here uh, c is uh, decreasing and uh, v is decreasing and uh, f we are uh, increasing so if you uh, put, uh, f we are uh, assuming that f is increasing means we we are assuming that we are going to use higher frequency otherwise there is no use of scaling right so that is why we are uh, assuming uh, f is going to increase by uh, alpha so if you put that you will find that the total uh, dynamic power is also reduced here uh, power density now uh, in the power density uh, you will uh, find that okay uh, this is because uh, you are uh, assuming that more and more uh, transistors are being uh, uh, packed into uh, the same area so uh, so although the total power is uh, reducing uh, since you are going to increase the number of uh, transistors the power density uh, is is more or less remain uh, uh, now you see this is uh, uh, active capacitance per unit area so uh, uh, power uh, okay what is this power dissipation is a function of operational frequency the power supply and the voltage of the if you normalize the power okay uh, we obtain the active capacitance uh, per unit area of a given circuit okay uh, so that is coming out to be 1.45 okay so uh, these are some of the issues which are uh, related with uh, technology uh, scaling okay now, along with that uh, interconnects also uh, scaling is also uh, happening right so because now you have uh, masks which are uh, being laser cut and 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 you have an a uh, high uh, it is known as some uh, molecular cutting or something where the masks are generated like that 
so you have a uh, very very uh, thin lines is possible okay uh, because of the uh, advanced uh, lithography uh, procedures so you have uh, no, uh, when you so these are some of the drawbacks also will be there like reduced width increases resistance uh, denser interconnections there will be uh, higher capacitances two lines which are close to each other and higher frequency uh, they can get uh, they, there could be an capacitive uh, coupling happening between those uh, lines so these are some of the uh, issues uh, which uh, comes along with interconnect uh, scaling like we saw the uh, some issues of uh, device scaling like submicron technology several issues do come up uh, similarly in the interconnects also along with uh, scaling uh, some issues are there so the, so these have to be uh, taken care of right so because you have millions of wires now you can't afford to have thick wires everywhere uh, small wires reduced width increase resistance uh, denser interconnection so you have an, a lot of an, a capacitance uh, these although these wires of different two materials are running one over the other uh, and there is an insulator in between but nevertheless uh, high number of crisscross will uh, 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 result in uh, stray capacitance right so they are all uh, stray capacitances uh, will be there so these are so this is the uh, summary of uh, what we said so this is an uh, end uh, this is uh, these are two different uh, uh, kind of scaling this is constant field uh, uh, scaling which we discussed out here so you will find uh, length width uh, tox vdd vto VTO is also uh, reduced and NA and D. They are all uh, uh, NA is uh, no, upscaled by an uh, factor S, other are all uh, reduced by an uh, factor of uh, S out here. So, uh, the effect is uh, shown here. Okay, so this is the uh, effect which is going to happen on these all these parameters. Okay, uh, this is generally uh, not done, uh, especially for uh, sub micron range. This was done initially, but uh, where the volt trade was uh, they uh, tried to keep constant, but uh, subsequently uh, for higher generation, uh, this was discontinued. Uh, here, the difference is you will see that supply voltage is not uh, scaled down here, right? Uh, only the doping density is uh, doubled out here. So, the uh, junctions were taken care of, but the uh, supply voltage and the threshold voltage they were kept uh, constant in this particular case, right? So we know the basic equations. Now, if you uh, try to put uh, uh, these parameters into the uh, basic uh, equation, you will find uh, this uh, area is uh, reduced in uh, uh, beta, and these these things are. Um, this is the kind of effect it, it has. So, but this constant uh, voltage scaling is not uh, really uh, used these days. Uh, the uh, focus is on uh, only on uh, constant field. Okay. <coughs> so, uh, these are some of the advanced uh, lithography. I told uh, to make an, uh, um, a proper uh, 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 like uh, very very thin lines uh, lithography. Uh, has to be uh, improved. So, along with this, uh, we put an uh, lithography uh, improvements in uh, lithography has happened. So, this is xeon lamp, a fluoride a laser. Now, you have uh, UV uh, lasers which are being operated for, for these particular. Okay, these are to make the masks, uh, uh, to cut the mask and then uh, use the masks uh, ma because the, uh, the light also, uh, it cannot uh, diffuse, right? It has to be focused. So, it has to go through the mask and uh, diffusion will cause, okay, uh, uh, so that also is a deciding factor on the uh, lowest technology node, right? So, this also becomes an uh, issue. Okay, so uh, these are some of the issues which we uh, discussed and uh, lithography, electron beam lithography, okay, these are the things. Now, the cost of the equipment is high, but they give a uh, very, very uh, 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 highly uh, accurate masks can be uh, used, okay. So, with that, we uh, come to an end of this lecture. In the next class onwards, uh, we will uh, start with, these are all uh, introductory lectures. In the next class onwards, uh, we will uh, start with a uh, proper VLSI design, okay. Thanks a lot.